Hi everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me and Louise. So today I thought I would do, I was kind of iffy on this because it's such a sexual thing with this company, I'm telling you. Everything is named something sexual. I mean, I kid you not, I've yet to find anything, you know what I mean? But the company I'm talking about, I'm sure you already know, is NARS. And I got their orgasm, part of their orgasm collection. I got the mini NARS uh, eyeshadow palette called Orgasm. And it's got uh, six shades and it's got a little mirror. And it looks like this. And I got, I got the uh, Orgasm blush and highlighter, but I have a mini of it, which I had gotten a while back with the uh, lip oil and mini lipstick, but this is a full-size lipstick of the Orgasm. And I lined my lips with the NARS uh, Precision Lip Liner in, I could go through earrings maybe but I uh, got also the Laguna uh, bronzer on so I tried to stick to NARS oh and I'm wearing the foundation the uh, the glow I don't know what it's called the sheer glow foundation that I was also and I think that's all I got on this NARS so but the main thing is the orgasm obviously when we all like to I know, child friendly. I'm trying here. I'm trying. Anyway, it is hot in here, and I am so sorry. I got to keep the air conditioner on. I wanted to turn it off, but I couldn't. Now I did also prime my eyes with the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base, and I'm not. Mine's white, but I have seen people using um, that with a color. Like I guess it's got different shades you can use. I'm assuming. I apologize. I gotta get my brushes. So I thought we would just get started. Oh, and I I, li I lined my waterline with the NARS eyeliner in black, obviously, but it's Viva Viento, I guess. Black, basically, black. But I thought we would try this out since it is so cute. So the first shade I'm gonna go into. is going to be this little pinky shade and oh they do got it okay we do got the color so let's go in with uh seduced i guess i'm reading this right like the top would be the top row and then the bottom or maybe it's not seduced it'd be wild one maybe. i don't know i guess I, I don't like it when they put these eyeshadows on the back to be honest with you but i'm just going to start that as my crease transition shade type thing. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not really seeing it to be honest. Hmm. Um, I mean, I would consider me being like medium like to medium tone skin and I am not seeing that on my eye at all. I don't know if you all are. Okay, so maybe we should try to Let's go in with um, Maximum Pleasure. Let's see if we can see that one any better. Okay, I can see that one a little bit better. But again, not by much. Okay, so I have heard different reviews on this. On people saying no, don't get it. And people saying yes, get it. And I'm thinking, so far I'm not even seeing a shade on my eyeball. Like... I don't know if you all are picking this up, but I'm not. I mean, it is barely there. 
And I mean, I've got my brush like going in it. I mean, are you all you see in it? Cause like, I swear I'm not. All right, let's try, um, Take this brush here. It is a E27. It was like a cheap one. I don't know. Put that brush in. You know what? Actually, hold on. Let's try this. Maybe if I use a different brush. I mean, surely all these shadows can't be doing this, but let's just try it for the heck of it. Alright, I got it on my brush. light skin tone like you wouldn't even like I can barely see that and like I said I'm I would consider me light to medium all right so how's everybody doing I am hanging in there I guess Let's try this color. It is the pinker color, so it would be, I guess, Danger Girl. Yeah, Danger Girl. I mean, I'm hanging in, I suppose. Not really, though. I'm not going to lie. Are you kidding me right now? I mean, I get it's only $25. What do I expect? But I kind of expect more than this. I get more than this out of, you know, other palettes that are $25. I mean, can I'm barely seeing this. And then when I go to blend, it's like blending away. I mean, I really like Mars too. I really, really do. I have a lot of palettes from them, like, you know, that they come out with. I didn't really want to spend 50 some dollars on four shades, you know? But man, this is just crazy. I mean, really, it's crazy because, hey, this is the only dark color. So you're not going to get that many looks, really, out of this palette. all are seeing this, right? I'm really disappointed. And I hate that.
because usually I really do like, you know, the wanted little palette. I bought it. I didn't mind it. I ended up actually buying the bigger thing of it, the bigger palette. But this, I don't even know what this is. And I really don't even want to go any further because, I mean, what kind of look? And I know I'm not a makeup artist, don't get me wrong, I know that. But I'm curious if any of you all have purchased this palette, if, you know, you had the same issues, or is it just me, and the way I'm applying it? And did you all like it? I mean, I got it to build up a little bit here, but it's really patchy. And with the color being as pink as it is, you wouldn't think it would take that much to build it up, you know? And then, of course, every time you go to blend, it blends away. Let's try the other I mean, I know you guys can't see, but like, I am really digging my brush into this palette, trying to get the stuff. I'm sorry, this is not... This is not okay. I'm not even going to go, let's see if this um, pink glitter, what is it called, seduced, let's see if it, we can pick it up even, let's, I better spray it though. I shouldn't have sprayed it actually. I should have tried it without it being sprayed because I bet it wasn't good much.
good. I mean, when you add this one, yes, it looks decent. I'm going to come out with an hour, but it's not worth it. And again, I get it. You're going, it's $25. Well, yeah, I know that, but $25, you can get a Natasha Denona palette with five shades. You know, I've gotten previous orders from NARS out of smaller palettes for $25 and gotten a good look. Several. They're a little mini wanted. And I hate to be down because I love NARS as a brand. Like, love it. But it definitely makes me wonder about those other, the bigger palettes, the 50 some dollar ones. You know? I mean, when this is doing this, it's like, whoa, wait. Let's try the inner corner. Let's go into full moon, I guess. Again, I'm going to wet the brush. These two colors that I've applied are pretty colors. Alright, for the bottom lash line, I'm going to go back into that peachy orange color. I'm going to take it on the bottom lash line. Maybe. There it is. I mean, you can barely see that. I'm digging in. Alright, now we're going to go back into that pink. I'm going to take it all the way over just a little bit. I mean, I'm really disappointed to be honest with you. There's a little bit of kick on top. I mean, I, I just don't know. I really don't know what to think about this palette. Alright, let's color the lashes. And I'm going to use the NARS Climax Mascara. It's been a while since I've used it. Thought I'd give it a try. I actually don't, I think I, I liked it, it was just, you know, 
to mascara. I mean, if I, I just don't even know. Well, I guess that says it all because there's been a lot of makeup artists that had used this one and did not like it. And now I can see why. Because if they can't use it, how in the earth is someone like me going to be able to use it, you know? They're not, that's the thing. kind of short and sweet, to be honest. This is the final look that I came up with today. I, it is what it is. I mean, this is what it looks like. I used all but the gold shimmer. Everything of NARS, like I said, I like I just this palette, and now I'm rethinking whether to get those bigger ones, but let me know if you all have purchased it and if they were worth it. I may give it a try. I don't know. This particular one is not a hit for me at all. Um, I, I hate it. That's all I can say. I really hate it because I love NARS. I really think they got great products and I don't think they're talked about a lot. But let me know what you all think in the comments down below. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. Hit all. That way you're notified when I do upload. I do apologize that this wasn't the best video because it just is what it is. And tomorrow, I think I'm going to, yes, I got the new Marc Jacobs palette. So I can't wait for tomorrow. I can't wait. I don't want to play it so bad. But until next time, guys, until next time, everyone, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.